Hi, I'm Alex and this is the Samsung Galaxy Ace 3 LTE. It's the 4G version of the Galaxy Ace 3. It's basically just a budget little phone, lower end of the market, aimed at people who want a smartphone that does smartphone stuff but won't cost you too much money. In terms of specs, we've got a 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor, one gig of RAM, eight gigabytes of storage. We've got a micro SD slot for up to 64 gigs of expandable memory and you've got an 1800 milliamp hour battery, which lasts you pretty much a good day with this phone. So in terms of design, it's pretty much somewhere between the Galaxy S3 or Galaxy S4 and the original Samsung Galaxy S, if you can remember that from way back in 2010. So if you look at it head on, it's very original Galaxy S. It's just nuts and bolts, this is a smartphone, but it does have that nice little fake brushed stainless steel on the uh, on the back there which which is it's a nice touch but overall it's a very plain looking phone it's comfortable to hold it's quite light it's only about 119 grams which is which is nice the camera is just a little five megapixel shooter nothing too spectacular here i mean you don't really expect much from a lower end of the market camera anyway but if you're looking to do sort of nature shots or lots of family portraits or something like that you might want to look a little more upmarket than this it tends to come out kind of grainy unless you're in absolutely perfect lighting conditions and nighttime shots really don't come out particularly well. In terms of actually using it as a phone, it's a bit laggy, probably a bit laggier than we'd expect to get from the dual core 1.2 gigahertz processor. We, we found it tends to stick a bit between menus. When you open up the keyboard, sometimes it takes anywhere up to sort of five seconds and you get a lot of app crashes actually. Something like Google Maps. Google Maps was a, a particular villain here. It crashed about one in every five times we opened it. Once again, you tend to expect these kind of things from the lower end of the market. So you've got to give it a certain amount of leeway. But considering the quality of some of the other ones coming out these days, like the Motorola Moto G or even the Nokia Lumia 620, which is a great little budget phone, costs about the same as this one. Okay, so it does the Galaxy A3 do what Samsung wants it to do. It works if you're not too fussed about the fact that it's a bit laggy and if you get a good deal from your carrier on it then yeah sure go for the Galaxy A3 LTE but otherwise I'd try and take one of the the better cheaper options that are out there at the moment